HDPoS offers functionality to control access rights for each of your employees. I'm here today to explain to you how that can be done through HDPoS setup applications. So to create different employee accounts and employee login, you need to click on setup first. In this setup window, on the first page of the setup options, you will see employee. As you can see, there are no employees created in this current database right now. I'm going to go ahead and create one by clicking on the add employee button here. I'm going to add the first name as John, last name as Doe. Rest of the information is optional. You can enter the data here if you want. I'm going to show you how do we create a login for Mr. John Doe. So I'm going to create the user as J Doe and password also as lowercase J D O E J Doe. I will save. Now we can see an employee with the name John Doe is created. After that, I'm going to go to access rights by clicking on this button right here in the setup. As you can see in the logins, I have J Doe login created. All the buttons in the application, including all menu options, is considered as functionality and all of that are listed here. It's a pretty ex exhaustive list of functionality that HDPoS Smart allows you to customize and give access to a specific ex uh, to the specific employees. For easy management, you can even create different functionality groups, which I will cover that in a different video. At this point, I will show you how do we block access to Mr. John Doe for a specific functionality. So let's say if I were to say he is not supposed to go into the setup window at all. So I'm going to find that button, which is POS main setup. I'm going to click it once so that it gets highlighted. After that, I'm going to click it and keep my mouse button clicked, drag it a little bit so that I get the circle and the line through it icon. I will then keep the mouse button pressed and move it all the way over the name J Doe and then leave the mouse button. At this point, you can see that a new line got added at, at this level, which is saying J Doe functionality name, POS main setup and access as one. When I want to now do not want to give the access to this button, I will have to right click this line and say do not allow access. Let me right click here and I would say allow access. I could right click here and say do not allow access. So eventually I'm going to be leaving the screen by saying do not allow access for POS main setup button or the setup functionality for JDO. We'll come back and log in at JDO and we'll see how that would happen. So I'm going to click cancel. So I'm now logging back in as JDO. And as you can see, the setup button for John Doe is gone. He just, there is no way for him now to get into setup. Likewise, you can control each of these buttons individually and you can block access, allow access for certain functionality.